Hi guys, this is Mastrath, and this is my first real, um, live-ish wrestling review. I'm recording this at about ten past three. Uh, six of the seven matches at Fatal 4-Way 2010 have already been finished, but I can probably tell you that the seventh one will be won by John Cena, uh, as we all know by now. Um, but I'm going to go through these matches, uh, go through these matches with you and see how... Each match turned out because I was on WWE chat for quite a while, so I know how the matches got went. So uh, let's begin, shall we, with my fourth wrestling review, Fatal 4-Way 2010. First up, I'll tell you though, it was held in the Nassau Coliseum, or the full name, the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Uniondale, New York. The date was June 20th, 2010. The theme song was Showstopper by Toby Mack with a promotional folk poster featuring Randy Orton. So, our first match of the night was Kofi Kingston versus Drew McIntyre for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, this rivalry had been heating up for quite a while, adding in Teddy Long into that mix with Drew McIntyre this past week on SmackDown. Teddy Long having to lie down for Drew McIntyre during a match, which if he did not compete in, he'd be fired, and that's Teddy. Uh, however, Drew Mac this is a pretty obvious match, I do admit, and Kofi won. Uh, with the help of Tay Long, um, my favorite referee, Charles Robinson, got knocked down, knocked out cold, and Drew McIntyre hit the future shot, but no referee was there, so he wanted Tay Long to be ref. One, two, Teddy didn't go for the three. Matt Hardy came out, twist of fate, simple, and Kofi still champion. Our next match is a fatal f is our first of three fatal four way matches for the Divas Championship between the Divas Champion uh, Marie no sorry the Divas Champion uh, Eve with Maurice Scale Kim and Alicia Fox and the winner was Alicia which is the weirdest shock of the night at the moment um, Alicia Fox won after Eve should have gone for the pin in her last neck breaker move but went for one high risk maneuver. Hit it, but that gave Alicia enough time to get the three counts. Next up was an impromptu match between uh, Chris Jericho and Evan Bourne. And the winner was Evan Bourne. That's a shock to me, and I think it's a bit disrespectful to someone of Chris Jericho's caliber to lose to a Rey Mysterio wannabe. Um, like Evan Bourne. Evan Bourne, you know, great wrestler and everything, but just to basically to piss on the legacy of someone like Chris Jericho. Uh, Jericho, of course, has probably been taking a few uh, months off to film his new TV show on ABC called Downfall. Uh, by the way, if, if you want to watch it, it seems like a good concept to me. It seems like a very good um, a very good show to me, and you can't get anyone more evil on in American television than Chris Jericho at this current moment in time. Anyway, on to our next match. Pretty low down the card for my liking, the fatal four-way match for the World Heavyweight Championship between the current champion Jack Swagger, CM Punk, Rey Mysterio, and The Big Show. Now, the strange thing about this match, this match was filled with controversy. The Big Show wasn't even in the match, didn't even make it to the match, therefore there was only three people entered. Next up, Kane came out with an empty casket and shoved Punk in there. And that is the weirdest thing again. <laughs> It's creepy, and if there's one thing that I've got to say, it'll probably be this. Uh, el Maestro de Cis Neuf es el Nuevo Campeón Mundial, uh, which is Spanish for the Master of the 619, is the new world champion. Rey Mysterio is the world champion for the second time in his career, in his very long career in the WWE. His first uh, his first real time as world heavyweight champion, which didn't, inc which, didn't mean, which didn't mean that he basically got the title just to pay tribute to someone like Eddie. Um, this is his real first time that he's actually done it normally. And, well, well done to Ray, I do admit, but it's a bit of a shocker to think that Ray would win the title. I always thought it'd be probably Punk or Big Show. So at this current moment in time, I was three and naught. Sorry, I was, I was 0 and 4 on choices at this time. Our next match was The Miz versus R-Truth in a singles match for the United States Championship. And the winner of that match was The Miz. My first pick that I wanted to win won. The Miz is still awesome. 
and beat our truth very well actually our truth going for a sunset flip it cost him Miz Neil down trapping our truths torso you can't really get out of it that way and the Miz is still the US champion and he is now celebrating his sixth day as <laughs> US champion our next match is a bit of a weird one for the unified WWE Tag Team Championships the Hart Dynasty defeated the Usos that's Jimmy and Jay for people who don't know. The Usos are a, a, a new team who've come into the WWE in the past three weeks uh, who came from FCW along with uh, Tamina. Uh, for those people who don't know, Jimmy and Jay Uso are Rikishi's sons. Of course, we know who we talk about now. Yeah, they're the Fat Man's sons. P-H-A-T to you. And Tamina is the son... Sorry, is the daughter... Sorry about that. Is the daughter of Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Uh, my concept for this, it's not very good then putting the Usos into a match, you know, first three month, three weeks or so that they've been in the WWE. That's like bringing in, you know, Kurt Hawkins and Vance Archer against the Hart Dynasty. So that match really didn't help. That was a very predictable match. At this point, I was, uh, two and four at this point. And finally, the main event, where it all got hectic and very interesting. It was a battle between Edge, Randy Orton, John Cena, and Sheamus in a fatal four-way match for the WWE Championship. Now, on Raw, the few nights, a few uh, weeks before, for the last few weeks, uh, the NXT Seven, as they're known as, the uh, Season One NXT rookies, apart from Daniel Bryan who got released, uh, ke kept coming to the ring and destroyed everything. And that was exactly the same tonight. Uh, they they destroyed the hearts the heart uh, dynasty along with Evan Bourne and our truth. But the problem with the four way matches we all know is that you know this there'll be so many uh, pinning predicaments that will be stopped due to uh, interruptions and stuff. Uh, the NXT rookies came straight to the ring to take out Cena before then Sheamus would get the pin. And the win. Sheamus has won the WWE Championship for the second time in his career. In his very short career here in the WWE, Sheamus is the WWE Champion. Once again, at Cena's expense. Now, thank God, take the truth. I'm, you know, as a neutral, as a neutral and as a Cena hater, I think, no pun intended, we've seen enough of John Cena's WWE Champion, at least for a little while now. Hopefully he'll get into a rivalry with the NXT rookies. By the way, the person who really took out John Cena was Michael Tarver. So, good, f good, so, well done to him. Um, so that's my Fatal 4-Way uh, pay-per-view review, and um, I give actually an okay viewing, actually. I give it 7 which is better than my view of Extreme Rules. It was a very good pay-per-view for my liking. There was a lot of a lot of weird um, results, but the main result that mattered was the main event, which a heel won. And really, that just proved that it's not all children happy things. So yes, the human jar of mayonnaise is now the WWE champion. So I've been the master. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully this will be the first review on YouTube. Let's hope so. And I'll be seeing you next time for my next wrestling review, which will probably be Money in the Bank. Goodbye.